Hello, hello everybody. Welcome to my channel. Uh, my name is Marissa and I want to take you on a little journey here or shall I say help whoever needs help with um, with their insulin pump. Um, I have the Tandem. It's called the T-Slim X2 insulin pump. This is a lifesaver. Oh my goodness, is it a lifesaver. So I would have had this in when I first got diagnosed with my diabetes, which was in 2000. I would probably not be having my problems now. As you can read my shirt is straight out of dialysis. <laughs> so, yeah, oh, sorry. If you hear my dog in the background, I am totally sorry. He is being a crybaby. I'm gonna have to probably take him out or probably move him because he's a little brat. So, sorry about that. Have to do whatever, just let him. Let him go wherever, but stay right there, dog. His name's Dog. Come on, over here. He's right here in the kitchen with me, okay? Perfect. All right, I'm trying to do my phone. I guess I could use a, I need one of those vlogging cameras that I see everybody use. But that's probably expensive. Well, okay, so I use the Novolog insulin. Ah, stupid thing. Sorry. I need to be mean. Dog, come here. There we go. So I use the Novolog in my uh, insulin pump. Um, what I do, what we're gonna need here well, is of course, your insulin pump. A few of your handy dandy alcohol pads. Um, a Unisol, these are my favorite. I am like, I love them. These are like my best friend. Um, come here, dog. Come here, baby. And I use skin tack for, you know, to keep it stuck on there because when you take a shower or you sweat and you need extra, extra stickiness there. Um, okay, so let's get busy. So what I do is I like to warm up my insulin, which I don't think you really need to do that, but I've always had to do this. It's habit. Um, I get an alcohol pad. And I like to clean the top here. And we're going to fill out our, or fill up our cartridge here. So what I like to do first is I just like to get the alcohol swab and just like clean everything off of it. Uh, get all the gunk off of it. Probably not you sweating and stuff. And I do this about maybe every three days when I have to change my sight or if I have to change, you know, the insulin in it or if I run out of insulin. 
Okay, now I'm opening my needle. Sorry, I look like a hot mess today. I look like this every day, I guess you can say, but I don't care. My life is a, a lot to run down. Just kidding. <laughs> anyway, but I put my needle in, take it off, the cap, and I usually fill up to about two and a half. That usually lasts me three days, depending on how much anyone uses insulin, you know, you eat a lot. And I just fill it like this, and it fills up. I'm gonna have to go get a new bottle soon. But <laughs> hear my dog rattling back there. to get the air bubbles out. Draw it up like this. And draw it back. When a little bit of insulin comes out the tip, all the air is out. Then I get my little cartridge. And you're gonna poke the needle where that little thing is right there, that little needle, little dot. And you're going to just put it in. Dog, come here. Sometimes it goes in easy and sometimes it doesn't. Just because, I don't know why it does it do that. There we go. Goes in nicely. And you take it out. And you have to be very careful because you're going to stick the cap back on. Sometimes you poke yourself with it. Always put it in a sharps container. Now that to the side we're gonna get our insulin pump we're gonna go to the menu part we're gonna go to options we're going to go to load and then we're going to change cartridge and then check mark. No. Sometimes. And then check mark. All delivery stopped. Are you ready to continue? Yes. Um, now I get my little butter knife and I just pop off the other one and throw it away and then get my new one but what i like to do first is i like to wipe it down with a alcohol pad like so And I slide it in. 
then get back on the screen here and then just hit the lock button and this is in cartridge install you're going to hit the check mark and then I'll go all the way to 100. It has to read the cartridge. Takes a little while. And then it's at 100. Cartridge. Hit OK. And then. I like to put on my case. Pop right back on like that. Yay! So now we're gonna do the Mio, the tubing. So I got to unpackage this open it make sure you open all the things because if not then it will stick you and it's not a pretty sight so then I put the tube in the little place where I go so it can stay there. Make sure you get the little plastic thing because like I said, if you forget to not take it off and you poke yourself, it's kind of like a waste and it hurts. And it's pretty bad. And then you just undo the little And you pull it back. But make sure your tube stays in the little sticky part, or not the sticky part, but. And then I hold it to put it to the side there for a minute. And I'm sorry, you have to look at my ugly stomach. I like to clean my area with an alcohol pad. And a Unisol pad to get all the adhesive stuff that was there before. These work wonders. I love them. I love it. I love it. I love it. Like, I don't even know how much to say how much I love it, but I love it. I even love these little skin tags. Like, these things are like a diabetic extreme. <laughs> uh, it just amazes me what people come up with and what they think of. And, like, wow. You know. I wish I could invent something like that. Oh, there's my thing going off. So then I just put a little wipe there. And I grabbed the little meal by the thumb grips right here. Make sure this tube is down, so it, it will be down so your insulin doesn't go up, you know. And then all you do is press through the two thumb, and it clicks on. You gotta be careful because it has the needles like a lot everywhere. And then I just wipe it again with my skin tack so that way it will stay on there. 
pull the little meal out, the needle. And I get another alcohol pad. And I just clean around it. Here with my alcohol pad and my Unisol. And then, we got another alcohol pad, just in case. And then I clip this and put this in the A Sharps container. back on your screen and you're gonna go to fill tubing you're gonna oh, you're not gonna start it yet because I did it wrong but I like to clean my little tube right here and clean the little other end And then I switch on like that. So then I get back on my insulin pump and you will see fill tubing. You're going to hit start. And it's going to start putting insulin in your tube but you can't as long as you see it going up you can't do more any less than 10 units so once it starts hitting 10 units it will start dripping out that's what you want it to do Takes a little while. And then all you do is hit stop. And then you will hit done. And then hit the little check box. And then you will hit this will resume all deliveries and you will hit the check mark. And you're done. Well, and then you gotta clip it into the thing like that. I have to take a little extra insulin right now because it's kind of high. But that is it. And this is my CGM. So hopefully we can do that next time. And I have a video. I just haven't posted it yet, but eventually. <laughs> um, if you have any questions, I hope this video was helpful. And anyways, you can be helpful, I guess. Um, if you do have questions, just uh, ask away. <laughs>
Uh, and I hope everybody has a good day. And remember to stay positive out of anything that's going on in your life. Just try and be positive. If you have brothers, sisters, aunts, uncles, anybody that is trying to tear you down, just don't let them. You're better than that, and you can do it, do you. Do what you gotta do. All right. Have a good day.